Hi my lovelies, I'm Jen and this is Crifty Crafty. Good morning my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So we've looked at how to use vinyl and how to use our transfer tape. Uh, so we're now going to look at how to use iron-on. So as we've looked at in another video, uh, iron-on and heat transfer vinyl are the same thing. It's just that some companies call it heat transfer vinyl and Cricut call it iron-on. I prefer to call it iron-on, that's just my personal choice. Uh, so I've got a SVG here which I've got from Etsy um, and you'll see that it's in layers. Now there is a background black layer here and if we remove it you're then left with whatever material you're putting it onto poking through. But I quite would like to show you how to layer iron on today. So I'm going to keep that, but that's personal preference. You can keep it on there or you can uh, remove it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into colour sync because I'd quite like the tail to cut all in the same uh, design. So I'm going to put those together and then the same with the inner eyes. I want to make that the same colour as the body. So then we're going to go back into our layers. Now if we go to make it right now, which I'll show you, you'll see that when we get to the mat with the tails on, uh, they are not in any order. So you'll see here, they're in no order whatsoever. And actually to make it easier to layer, we need them to be all together as one complete cut. So we're going to go back to our mat. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight everything and we're going to go to ungroup because at the moment it's all attached. So we want to ungroup it. And then what we want is we want to be able to weld our tail and weld our eyes and our inner lip to our body. Now because we've ungrouped it, we're able to do what we're going to do next. If we hadn't ungrouped it, when we go to weld them together, it's going to change everything. So the first thing we're going to do is hide what we don't want. So we're just going to click on our little eyes. And the reason for doing this is it will keep everything in place. So rather than moving the tail away, we're going to keep everything where it is and just hide it. And then we're going to attach and we're going to weld. So when we bring everything back up, because we'd ungrouped it, they have stayed separate. Whereas if we had welded that area, even though we'd hid it, they would still weld. So we're gonna now remove our tail and our inner eyes and our top. And we're gonna do the same thing and weld that. So when we cut, this will all be as one cut. So now that we've got everything back, we're going to highlight it all. And we're going to change the dimensions of her. So I'm going to put her on a denim jacket and I want her to be seven inches wide. So we're just gonna change the width and press enter. So now we're going to go to make it. And you'll see that when we go to the mats, everything is exactly how we want it. So when we're using iron on, we have to remember to mirror it. Now, the only time this is slightly different is if you're using printable iron on. So when using printable iron on, please do always make sure that you read the instructions because different uh, manufacturers have different ways of doing it. But when it comes to normal iron-on, so glitter iron-on, holographic, foil, metallic, any of those, any that you're gonna buy from a shop and you're not going to print, you're just going to cut, you always mirror. Now, it's not so much of an issue with an image but certainly with text, we need to make sure we mirror. And so I just mirror everything because it kind of reminds me that with iron on, we need to mirror it. So we're gonna go through and we mirror every mat so that they all sync up together. So you'll see that they are all now mirrored. 
So we're going to go ahead and press continue. So because I'm doing lots of different layers and I'm doing them in different materials, um, so for example with the first layer I'm cutting it as iron-on because it's just a normal black iron-on. So I need to remember before I then change my next mat, I will then need to change this one to glitter iron-on. Uh, but I'll show you that in just a sec. So we're going to go ahead and load our first mat up with our black iron on. So we've got our mat loaded and we've got our black iron on. Now with all our iron on, so whether it be the glitter or the metallic or the holographic or the plain or foil, it doesn't matter we always do shiny side down to the mat. So with the black, it's always, well with all iron on, it's shiny side down, and then our waxy back looks up at us. So always make sure that your shiny side is on your mat. So the same with the glitter, this is the shiny side, and this is the mat side. So we always do shiny side to the mat and then we're gonna go ahead and start cutting. So we've cut out our first mat, so we're gonna to go to our second mat, and we've changed our dial to custom, so we're going to click glitter iron on, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut that, and we're gonna continue doing this for each of our mats. So I've cut all my designs out now, so I'm gonna do my bottom layer first, which is my outline layer, and I'm going to use the iron. Now normally I use my heat press, but a lot of you may not have heat presses, so we're going to go with uh, the iron today. So the most important thing to remember with the iron is no steam. Um, it's really important that your steam setting is switched off. So I've placed my bottom layer and I've just got a tea towel here, just a really thin tea towel. And I'm going to put it over my design just to act as a barrier really and then I've got my iron and I am just going to press down and then just keep moving it as I'm pressing down and you do need to give it as much force as you possibly can and then once you've pressed down, you're just gonna go ahead and start ironing. So I've peeled the first layer off and I've placed my uh, metallic layer. Uh, the reason being is there's certain things that we can't layer on top of each other. So for example, the glitter, that needs to be the last thing that we put on because nothing will stick to it. Uh, so we're gonna put this layer on next. So I've now pressed that. And what I quite often like to do is I get my scraper and I just give it a quick scrape, very gently. And then we're just going to grab this little corner here and we're just going to gently peel our layer back. And I'm just going to leave that to cool for a minute or two and then I'm going to go and put my tail layer on. So we've now placed our tail exactly where we want it. So again, we're going to get our tea towel. Uh, now you can use, uh, I've got Teflon sheets for my heat press which I use. Uh, but you can get like the other mats that you can get. And they're like a pound from Poundland. They work just as well. So I've put her hair now where I want it. So normally with the glitter iron on, I tend not to use a barrier. But because I'm layering today, I am going to put a tea towel down. But if I was just doing a straightforward glitter iron on, I wouldn't bother with a tea towel. I would just put the iron straight onto it. But I am going to put a tea towel on today. And again, I'm going to go ahead and iron. So I've now done Ariel's hair, so I'm going to go ahead and do her bikini and her eyes. So now we're going to go ahead and put a name in iron on on our denim jacket. Uh, so I've chosen this font, which is Mermaid Tails, 
and this was purchased from fontbundles.net uh, and I've already sized it to 7.5 in width so I'm going to go ahead and make it and as always with iron on we're going to mirror it and then we're going to go to continue so our dial is set to custom and we're going to go with glitter iron on and then we're going to go ahead and load our mat so I've now finished the denim jacket and I've added some seashells onto there just to make it a bit more mermaidy mermaidy? mermaidy uh, so you can see the writing there and then Ariel is at the bottom with her seashells so that's pretty much it um, iron on is you know that's slightly more complicated today because we've done layers uh, but basically you can cut out you can you know you can do uh, text you can do images uh, just remember to always mirror it and then when you're placing it on the mat it's shiny side down and then when you're ironing it on it's shiny side up uh, but you'll you'll get the hang of that pretty quickly uh, so yeah that is our finished jacket and as always thank you all so much for watching please do like subscribe and follow and I'll see you all again soon bye thank you so much for watching everyone I'll see you all next time please do subscribe like and comment below bye